and we're back once again. My name is Joy Mochache, your host for Wine in the Morning. And remember, we are in youth and politics. And remember, we've got our guests with us, Daniel Orogo and also Omoyo Aribo. I, I, my, your name, I'll get it right. Your name, I'll get it right. Don't, don't one, fret. One day. one day. And so we've been discussing a few things, the likes of scandals and uh, NHIF and KPLC as well as NYS. And now I wanted to ask... There's been a second handshake. You know, this is man crush. There's been a second handshake that has been happening. And I'm wondering, do you think it's bringing about what it's supposed to bring about? And do you find there is still opposition in Kenya? Has it assisted Kenya, the famous handshake between? Yeah. Um it's, it's the, it, it is no definite answer, yes or no, but um, this depends on where you sing from. Okay. Um, and I'm going to speak from where I see it, is the fact that we had very violent election, um, a very more violent repeat election, and the country was a standstill, um, the better um, la end of last year uh, until early this year. But then we, we had to find a truth. We had to keep going. And we were not going to move unless we are given a direction. So hence, the two leaders who are drawing their supporters either to agree or to disagree had to shake hands. But one of the things that we all need to agree again with the Reba is the fact that um, we give credit where it's due. That somebody, two people, saw it wise to sit mm -hmm. and chat the future of our country. We really need to see these handshakes being cast castigated down. Yeah, and, and and let's let's reach to our communities. Tell mm -hmm. them shake hands. If the communities were constantly fighting at the border of Kisumu and Nandi, shake hands there. Shake if hands. we are having communities, even the intra inter community itself, uh, the, the antagonism within uh, uh, um, you know uh, clanism, even within Kisi, within the Luo. Reach out, shake hands. Shake I think hands. this is what needs to be um, moving forward. What's your view? Yeah. And, and let's keep it short because we've got a very short time. What's your view on this uh, one? Uh, I, I agree with what he says. And my point is that we normally have a very violent and combative nature of politics. You remember the times when we were having elections, <coughs> most places were inaccessible. You People can't go to work. When we were having the tear gas Mondays, uh, uh, um, uh, university was inaccessible. Mm -hmm. and, and if we could have gone on with the election, mood and the combative nature probably we could not even be here mm -hmm. because every day we will be tear gas and throwing stones and such so as you said um, this is a clear gesture and probably uh, it's time now we need to put our politics aside and develop the country next the issue is on sustainability mm -hmm. will we have this sustainable this uh, political truth will it be sustainable in the next political cycle mm -hmm. okay thank you for that and let's let's speaking of politics let's touch on law a little bit I know you're a lawyer <coughs> and we're going to finish off this is actually um, our last point of discussion once remember do keep it short there is um, the issue of the death penalty and CJ Maraga how do you feel about it in the sense that I know that there are those who feel oh yeah death penalty for sure but there are also those who are very much against it mm -hmm. and is it something is it progressive is it a progressive law in a country do you find or is it something that is uh, unfortunately, this is a topic I'll not uh, um, comment <laughs> on because this is an issue that I'm actively involved in in ah. terms of uh, the policy aspect and the litigation aspect. Right. So, so I'll, I'll not comment on that. Well understood. How about you? Can you give us your view, please? I, I, I am not having a lot of knowledge on, on, on these legal issues, but one of the things that I, uh, I can say from a layman's point of view yeah. um, is the fact that you see uh, the issue about pardon. Um, I think... Um, um, we are human beings and some of these things requires to be pardoned you know the law um, an eye for an eye and all these if somebody murders and he should be murdered as well if somebody chops one person's finger he should be chopped I think we are living in a, in a, in a society right now where we really need to look forward on how we become more corrective as, okay. as opposed to punitive and all these things um, but then there's something that I was forgetting as as we wind up, and especially when you go back to the issue about um, the handshake and political truth, you see um, young people have been at the center of conflict, 
And I love saying this because this is a youth um, uh, TV. We are always seen as perpetrators of violence, that we throw stones, we kill women, always young people. Young people are also on the other side, they have been seen as people who help these politicians, you know, <coughs> have their campaign going on and all these things. Okay. So we really must be um, the peace actors right now. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. And I do have to cut the conversation <laughs> short completely. <laughs> if you, if, if you had, remarks, no, there is, I'm sorry, if, if, there's if no winding remarks. There is no winding language against anybody. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I withdraw any bad language I used against anybody. Yeah. It's only that some, some topics are very important and, and the passion is so much. Mm. Thank you so much. And uh, that is what we had to discuss for today. Um, please join us again. Please join us again. This is wonderful. These are important topics for our youth to understand. Once again, my name is Joy Wachache, and this is Man Crush Monday.